Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Jaswai. Today we are at the next topic that is introduction to openings for black and today onwards we will start looking at one line against the first move e4. So many people want to learn the Sicilian defense as black. I personally don't like it at all but if anyone wants to play the Sicilian as black I would suggest to begin with one must start with the Sicilian dragon. It is one of the sharpest black openings and black can get very good attacking chances. Let's get to the introduction part today. I will try to show you just some ideas and maybe one game example. So e4, c5. With c5 black breaks the symmetry and he wants to take control of the center 34 square. White goes in f3 controlling d4. Black plays d6 so that the knight on f6 cannot be attacked by e5 d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. White allows black to take the open file but against that he gets superior center control and nicely placed centralized pieces. Nf6 an important move which forces white to go knight c3 so that he cannot play c4. Black often wants to get the ideas with b5 and d5 later on in the game. So knight c3 and here we have the move g6, the starting position of Sicilian dragon. Today it's an introductory lesson, so I will just show you what are the ideas for black. It will not be a detailed lesson. Black wants to get his bishop to g7 castle, develop knight c6 and once he has done that, he is almost ready to play the break d5. This is what all Sicilians are about. Black wants to complete his development and break the center. White who is already slightly ahead in development often wants to attack the black king and this bishop on g7 becomes very dangerous whenever white castles long. So one of the main ideas for white is to play the bishop on e3, queen d2 and trade this g7 bishop with bh6. So all the lines where white plays b3, f3, queen d2, long castle, they are called the Yugoslav attack and the lines where white wants to castle short. He often goes b2, b3 castle. They are called classical setups. There are some setups with bishop c4, some neoclassical ideas where white wants to play castle, bishop c4, castle f4, king h1 and attack on the center or the black's king side. There usually the lines are a bit more positional, not that sharp like the Yugoslav attack. Apart from that, here there is also the move f4 called the Levin fish attack which is not a great problem if black knows the theory well. So we are going to look at all the lines slowly. I will not make a very huge detailed video. It will be for players those who are trying to get the rating. Same lessons I, can, I will later on extend into more advanced parts also. So I will show you one example where what black wants to do in an Yugoslav attack. So here white plays bishop e3, g7, f3. Very important move. If queen d2 immediately then maybe black can go knight g4 and snatch this bishop. So f3, castle, qd2. Now white wants to get bishop h6. So knight c6. Good move. If bishop h6 then bishop h6, queen h6. Knight on d4 is lost. Here white mostly castles long. There are two other moves. One is bishop c4 and other is the move g4. These are all parts of the Yugoslav attack. Castle. And the line that I am going to recommend is knight takes d4. Bishop takes d4 first. If queen comes to d4, then knight simply goes to g4 and we trade this very dangerous Bishop, basically if we trade this bishop then white cannot exchange it for the g7 bishop and let's say after something like queen d2, knight e3, queen e3, queen a5 or b6 followed by queen a5. We see that black's attack will be way more faster than white's. Here white will not be able to penetrate via h6. So bd4 post, bishop e6. And now black's plan is simple. Black wants to go queen a5, play his rook to c8, usually the f rook to c8, 
and go B5 either directly in a gambit style or go K B8 followed by B5 B4. Black's attack is very quick and usually violent one. Black wants to destroy this knight and breach the point A2. So here white has to play the move K B1, which will be our detailed coverage in the next lesson perhaps. Right now let me show you if white goes with some move like H4, then black goes to A5. Now A2 is attacked, so KB1 and now Rook F8. Already black is very quick. If any move like A3, then black has either the move B5 instantly playing in a gambit style, Bishop B5, Rook B8. Black's attack is very sharp. But otherwise the move Rook B8, we can see G4, B5 and it is black who is way more faster in the attack. After H5, B4, AB, QB4, it's apparent that it is black who is going to win soon. In this game, in fact, white played the move H5, which turned out to be an instant blunder. A3 was nevertheless almost necessary and forced. Here black got a simple combination, Rook takes C3, Bishop takes C3, then Queen A2 followed by Queen A1 mates. So Queen C3 forced. Queen A2 check, Kc1 and now comes Rook C8. It's game over. Queen A3 almost forced, keeping the A1 square guarded and now comes Bishop F6 check. Idea is very simple. If Bishop E3, then Queen takes A3 followed by Bishop E3. Black is winning and if Rook D2, then we can just take the exchange Bd2, Kd2 and go with the very strong Qb1. Black doesn't want to trade his queens, c2 is weak, f1 and h1 are still stuck and we can easily make out that this position should be winning for black. Black can also consider moves like queen takes a3, b takes a3, bishop b3 when also he is clearly better. Plus black is a ball up so he can win the game easily even after trading the queens. Of course this was a small trap and an introductory lesson. I hope you will find it useful and instructive. Thanks for your time.